Hello dear students, our today's topic is a very important heterocycle compound that is pyrimidine. In this lecture we will go through the synthesis and some medicinal compounds of this heterocycle. Now let's look at the structure. Pyrimidine is a six member heterocyclic ring which contains four carbons, one, two, three and four and two nitrogens. These two nitrogens are at one and three position to each other. So as per the IUPC nomenclature, its name is 1,3 diazine. This di stands for two and aj stands for the nitrogen and in stands for this six membered ring. In this way it will become 1,3 diazine. Commonly it is called as pyrimidine. Now let's look at the important part that is synthesis of this heterocyclic compound. The first synthesis is Gabriel synthesis in which the starting material is barbituric acid. This is the structure of barbituric acid. Here we can find the presence of three oxo groups 1, 2 and 3. And Onto the adjacent position to this oxo group, we have the hydrogens. So these hydrogens may migrate on this electronegative oxygen and thus barbituric acid undergoes tautomerism to give this trihydroxy derivative which is called as pyrimidine 2,4,6-triol. Here we can find that the hydrogens migrate like this hydrogen migrate over this oxygen, this hydrogen migrate over this oxygen and this hydrogen migrate over this oxygen. Thus the double bonds will be broken down and new double bonds will be generated at this, this and this position to form this aromatic nucleus. So this triol derivative reacted with phosphorus oxychloride that is POCl3. The chloride ion given here bring about the nucleophilic substitution of this 3 hydroxy group to form this 246 trichloropyrimidine. This pyrimidine derivative then is reacted with zinc dust in presence of hot water. The zinc eliminates out this chlorine as zinc chloride and thus gives the formation of pure pyrimidine nucleus. Now the next synthesis is by simple dealkylation of a pyrimidine derivative. Dear students, in this reaction, the starting material is 5-methyl pyrimidine, which reacted with the oxidizing agent potassium permanganate. It is very familiar reaction. The methyl group undergoes oxidation to form corresponding carboxylic acid. In this case, it will become pyrimidine 5-carboxylic acid. Now this carboxylic acid derivative when is heated will liberate out this carbon dioxide molecule from here CO2 will be lost and the hydrogen will remain available with this carbon to form the pyrimidine ring. The next synthesis is from thiourea and malononitrile. Nitrile simply says that there is presence of C triple bond N and malono stands for the derivative of malonic acid which is a 3 carbon compound. So the starting material is thiourea. This is the structure of thiourea and this is malononitrile. This amino group attack on this carbon and this amino group attack on this carbon to bring the nucleophilic addition reaction. The addition takes place in such a way that this NH add on this carbon and one of the hydrogen goes on to the nitrogen to convert it into the NH that is imino group. So with this we have generation of this intermediate species. Now in this intermediate species we will find three double bonds here, here and here and adjacent to this double bond are the atoms this, this and this which bears the hydrogen. So hydrogen may migrate from 
this to this atom to bring about the tautomerism that is nothing but the migration of the hydrogen from one electronegative element to other electronegative element so tautomerism takes place by migration of the hydrogens as shown by the arrow and this gives us the formation of this diamino and thiol molecule by formation of this double bond at this position this position this position with which it will become the aromatic compound so in this way the pyrimidine derivative can be synthesized now the next synthesis is by use of guanidine and ethyl cyanoacetate now if we look at the stru structure of guanidine we can find that in thiourea where was doubly bonded sulfur now here in guanidine we have doubly bonded nh that is imino group now the other reagent is this ethyl cyanoacetate the amino group of guanidine attack on this carbon to bring about the nucleophilic substitution reaction by liberation of the ethanol molecule this amino group attack on this carbon of the nitrile to bring the nucleophilic addition reaction so with this we have formation of this intermediate structure once again we have the double double bonds over here and the atoms containing the hydrogen so once again tautomerism takes place by migration of the hydrogens on to this doubly bonded atoms and this gives us formation of this aromatic pyrimidine nucleus so in this way starting with guanidine and ethyl cyanoacetate we will obtain 2,6 diamino pyrimidine for all. Now move on to the next synthesis, which starts from tetra ethoxy propane and formamide. Dear students, it is very important reaction. Here, two molecules of formamide condense by liberation of a water molecule to give this methylidine formamide derivative. This derivative then is treated with tetraethoxypropane. Now, if we look at this structure, this is three carbon chain, so it is propane, and there is presence of four ethoxy groups, so it is called as tetraethoxypropane. Now, the reaction takes place in such a way that these two hydrogens and these two ethoxy group liberate out as two ethanol molecules and thus a double bond is generated between this carbon and this nitrogen like this. So we have a double bond over here, we have a CH2 group over here and this HCO group that is the formyl group reacted with one of the ethoxy group to make ethyl formate that is SCOOET which will be liberated out from here and thus we get a cyclized product where on this carbon there is presence of one ethoxy group now dear students this alpha hydrogen move on to this ethoxy group due to which it will become ethanol and will get liberated out from here and as this bond is broken down, there will be generation of bond between this carbon and this carbon to give us this aromatic pyrimidine heterocyclic compound. Now, next move on to the last synthesis that is reductive dechlorination. It is a very simple reaction. Here, the starting material is 2,4 dichloropyrimidine, which undergoes reduction in presence of molecular hydrogen and palladized carbon the reaction takes place under pressure these two hydrogens and these two chlorines will be released out as two hydrochloric acid molecules and thus we have generation of this pyrimidine nucleus so dear students that is all about the synthesis now let's move on to some important medicinal compounds this is the first important medicinal compound which is called as trimethoprim the trimethoprim 
is called due to presence of this 3-methoxy group and trimethoprim is used as a very potent anti-malarial drug. Now the next compound is this sulfonamide derivative which is called as sulfadiazine and as we all know that the sulfur drugs are very good antibacterial drug so sulfadiazine is used as antibacterial. So dear students that is all about the synthesis and important medicinal compounds of pyrimidine. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.